Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump warned them, but they didn't listen. Now he's ending it for all of them effective immediately. I've watched President Trump stand strong on the border and the illegal immigration issues. Sometimes he has compromised more than I like, but he's always had a reason behind the move. He even signed an executive order yesterday that would keep families together at the border. Backing him up are those such as House Judiciary Committee Chair Bob Goodlatte, RVA, who is proposing legislation that would keep those families together and deport them immediately. It would treat all illegal immigrants the same regardless of point of origin. President Trump also warned that he would cut off all funding to countries who abuse our immigration system. He's ending that funding effective immediately and I applaud him for it. It's been a long time since we had a president with a real spine, one who doesn't back down to the political pressure and threats thrown his way. Where I come from that's called being a man of principle. Of course, I'm from the Wild West where you are known by your word and deeds. On Tuesday, Trump met with the Republicans in Congress to hash out immigration legislation. It continued yesterday and ended with the EO. The Democrats are playing obstructionist politics and refuse to pass any bill on immigration even if it benefits them. They demanded that Trump sign the EO. When he did, they decried his executive overreach and said that you can't put children in prison with their parents. They then moved to say that they should all be set free in the U.S. and the borders should be thrown wide open. At the National Federation of Independent Business, President Trump announced that the time of countries taking advantage of the United States by sending people to our borders is going to come to an end. The free ride and all you can eat at the American trough of freebies is over. We want to end the border crisis by finally giving us the legal authorities and the resources to detain and remove illegal immigrant families altogether and bring them back to their country, he told the crowd. It's exactly what Good Latte proposed. Think of all the aid that we give some of these countries, hundreds of millions of dollars we give to some of these countries and they send them up. I'm going to go, very shortly, for authorization that when countries abuse us by sending their people up, not their best, people, we're not going to give any more aid to those countries, he said. The U.S. is about to embark on a merit-based immigration system, which is the same way to handle all of this and President Trump's actions here are making that move a reality. Trump also said, why the hell should we? Why should we? This is a responsible, common-sense approach that all lawmakers should embrace, Democrats and Republicans. He's right of course. This isn't a new stance for the president. He has said many times in the past that he has no interest in sending aid to countries who take advantage of our immigration system. Last April, Trump tweeted, the big caravan of people from Honduras, now coming across Mexico and heading to our weak laws border, had better be stopped before it gets there. Cash cow NAFTA is in play as in foreign aid to Honduras and the countries that allow this to happen. Congress must act now. The president is upset that children are being separated from their parents, but he also pointed out that it's a result of Democrat-supported loopholes in the law. I don't want children taken away from parents, and when you prosecute the parents for coming in illegally, which should happen, you have to take the children away, he said. That's what happens to any criminal in the U.S. These loopholes have created a massive child smuggling trade. Can you believe this? Trump stated. In this day and age, we're talking about child smuggling. We're talking about women smuggling, in this day and age. The smugglers know these rules and regulations better than the people that drew them, as a result there has been a 325% increase in minors and a 435% increase in the smuggling or attempted smuggling of families and minors into our country, he said. We're stopping them all the time, by the thousands, but they still get through. We have no wall. We have no border security. What the Democrats are doing is aiding and abetting human trafficking and white slavery. We have to stop this, build a wall and secure our borders before it is too late and this country is destroyed financially, politically and morally over all of this idiocy. President Trump went on to slam the North American Free Trade Agreement, saying that Mexico does nothing for us. Which is true. In fact, they are trying to invade us with their people, gangs, criminals and drugs. We can no longer be the stupid country we want to be the smart country, Trump said, adding that Mexico is not sending their finest, people. It's impossible to argue with that statement. Just take a look at Los Angeles where the Mexican gangs control the prisons and most of the city now. President Trump is right. It's time to put the safety and security of America first here. We cannot give in to the Marxist left. We must secure the border and build the wall. Cutting the aid off to these countries is the right thing to do and should have been done long ago. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. 
Thank you.